Your time starts now. Good afternoon. My name is Tom, and I'm here to present you Easy Shape. Our mission is to remove the pain of shipping for all the e-commerce merchants. So we are three co-founders with complementary skills in sales, technology, and logistics. We came up with this idea because we work in Rocket Internet for the last two years, building e-commerce platform in Southeast Asia, and we had the chance to touch with our own hand the problem of shipping for our merchants. So, to better show what's the current situation for companies not shipping with us, let's take an example, Joe. Joe is a small shop online, and every day he has a problem. Why? Because Every day, for every item he sells, he needs to spend time in arranging the shipping and he cannot focus on his own business. He needs to choose the right packing material for each order, pay and manage a team of packers to pack all of the item, and most important, understand what's the best shipping solution for each destination, for each kind of product, and for each dimension. You know, Shipping is complicated, shipping internationally is even more complicated. There are more than 200 shipping companies and Joe doesn't know which one to use in order to make sure that the products arrive, the shipping is economical and, they, and, they, and the shipping goes to the customer. And we think that it's completely inefficient. And we, want to, and we want to build a solution that allows Joe to outsource the problem of shipping so that he can go back to focus on his business. That's why we created EasyShip. So, our dream is to help all the thousands of small and medium shops around the world. Basically, we build an on-demand solution that allows anyone to ship like a pro, just in a matter of clicks. Um, so, with EasyShip, Joe can simply open an account, upload his orders in our system, we're gonna uh, pick up the order at his doorstep in a matter of two hours, bring to our fulfillment center, pack for him, print all the shipping material and using our shipping algorithm to select the cheapest and most reliable shipping company within FedEx, DHL, TNT and many others to ship each of the order with on destination, kind of product and dimensions. So, moreover, we have very good shipping rates based on our volume with the shipping company. Um, just to give you an example, in Hong Kong, uh, if they want to ship a mobile to Singapore, our, uh, our clients were before paying around 12 uh, US dollar, without they are paying 8.5 US dollar. So with easy ship, they not only save time, they save money. Our solution works. We start easy ship in Hong Kong in January, and in less than 100 days, we build a functional technology platform. We acquire more than 20 customers using our platform on a daily basis, and we ship over 1,500 orders, generating 20,000 US dollar in revenue. If the chip is live, it's very easy to use, and our customers use it on a daily basis. Looking in terms of economics, we have three main sources of revenue. First, we have a pickup fee, second, we have a packing fee, and third, we have a shipping fee. We're now building volumes to then integrate other services, such as the cloud shipping, that will allow anyone in the world to ship with our technology, regardless or not whether they are in our pickup area. Big data to analyze the performance of shipping company and affiliated marketing to um, help brands target their customer. The market is huge. Looking at the latest Asia Index report, there are over 10,000 companies in Hong Kong uh, just shipping on eBay. If you consider also e uh, Amazon and Alibaba, we're talking of a market of 5 billion US dollars per year just in shipping rates. We target to uh, acquire this for Food Channel, our own network, a sales team, e-commerce platforms, uh, sorry, partnership with e-commerce, just eBay and Amazon, for which we already built an API, and online marketing. Looking at a competition, traditional players offer like warehousing and stock management, but e-commerce is moving very dynamic to on-demand solution, and we are the only one offering on-demand logistic, integration with e-commerce platform, and cross-border logistic intelligence. We are now looking to raise one million US dollar in order to scale up the operation in Hong Kong, uh, invest in technology, building our team, and expand internationally. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, judges, your final comments. I would like to invite also Ruben, my co-founder for the Q&A.
everything sounds pretty good. What are you worried about right now? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I think that <clears throat> what we're working on now is to be scaled to lower our pickup cost because, uh, as you can imagine, like sending a minivan to collect the items, we rely on Uber and Google Van in this marketplace. And the idea is if I need to send one van for one pickup, I can basically, it's quite expensive, so the, the, the need is to scale up fast in order to do multiple pickups in the same area and to lower the. So do you know what that number is? Like how much volume you need to get to to ultimately say, like, okay, now we can make this work in terms of the numbers? Well, I mean, we're already break even in terms because our margin on shipping reached between 10 to 40 percent. Uh, the point is that we need, like, so investment to like, scale up much faster. But in terms of breaking, we're already there. So just to add on, like how Tom said, if you're asking us what we're worried about, not worried about anything, it's just we believe in growing and growing fast. And, and conquering Hong Kong as soon as possible. We want to come to Singapore end of this year and then open up two more markets by next year. Adding to that, how much additional shipping cost does the merchant have to bear? And would that have some kind of limitations on what kind of merchant would be your target customers? The idea is that easy shipping is actually to, will actually lower the cost of shipping because since we consolidate the, or the shipment, we will have very good shipping rates with the, with the company. One. Second, because we compare the different shipping company and we make sure to select always the, the cheapest and most reliable. Are you already there in terms of being able to kind of um, lower the total cost? Well, we are there for some destination. Uh, of course, we, have, we, don't, we still don't have the best solution to ship worldwide. We, I'm pretty confident to say we are among the cheapest for China, Singapore, Thailand, Malaysia, Philippines, Australia. So we wanted to focus on Southeast Asia first and, uh, and Asia because we've been working here for two years and a half and it's something we already did before and we already have the contest with the shipper that he then used to spend to also become very competitive for the uh, uh, United States, Europe and, and uh, Latin America. How did you get the first businesses onto your platform? Like did you start with eBay resellers or what did you do? We started with Lazada resellers. Lazada is the Amazon for Southeast Asia. So it's present here in Singapore. We work, we all worked there for for two years and a half, and uh, um, I was building the cross border operation in sales in Hong Kong. So this was my clients. So the idea is that we kind of set up the kind of private beta. Uh, we started in January, so Ruben and his team was calling their platform. We started the first shipment end of January, and for and for the first four months, we just wanted to have 20 clients from different uh, segments. So we have brand owners, large, small, uh, medium and small size sellers to see their feedback. Um, one thing I'm interested in is like, is this basically only going to be something that's gonna work for like small, medium businesses, right? Like at, at some point, someone is gonna just graduate from your services. I don't think that's a bad thing, but like, does this ever get to the point where like large companies like rely on you guys to handle fulfillment, for instance? What I see is that, I mean, talking with my clients, that everyone wants to get out of this shipping. It's not their business. They want to make money on buying and selling. And they don't have time to, to look into this. They don't have time to compare over 240 shipping companies, what's to use, what's not to use. They don't want to open 200 shipping accounts and pay 200 deposit, and they want to negotiate the rates. They want the sources. Out of our 20 clients, actually, we have free power seller of eBay. They sell over 800 orders every day. And they're using us, as I said before, for like some destination where we are very competitive. So China, Singapore, Australia. So if they work with us now, the, the, the terms that we can negotiate is gonna, it can only improve with the time. So our target is actually to make them outsource to us all the shipments they have. Thanks. All right, thank you very much.